Hey everybody, I'm here today with a simple video of myself taking apart a toaster. In this video, we will be looking inside of this toaster. Now this is what the toaster looks like. I'll turn it around so you can see what it looks like at, from a regular perspective, not upside down. This is what it looks like. So it's a rather advanced toaster. And I had this as an extra toaster. I was gonna throw it away, but I figured, you know what? I might as well take it apart for the video. So what I did prior to starting the filming process was I unscrewed four of the screws that were right over here. Okay, so I screwed the four screws um, and that allowed it to sort of loosen up and then I removed the cleaning trays. Okay, I'm going to place these screws over there. There's one more screw somewhere. I don't know where it went, but I only have three here. I know I unscrewed four of them. I actually started prying off um, the lever because as you can see when I pull this out, you can see here when I pull this out, it's attached to the lever. So in order to actually remove it, I have to pull out the lever. So I'm just going to yank this off just like that. Okay, and now I should hopefully be able to pull out the main guts of the toaster. Okay, so let's see where we're at here. I could pull this side out. Let's see where we're at. We should be able to pull it out and see what's going on. All right, so we are making our way there. I'm gonna try and loop this around. And the reason I chose this toaster was because it's like a really advanced level toaster. So what we see here are a few things. This is the internal workings of the toaster. So you can see this is what you see from the top um, where the actual toast slices will go. And there's actually like a motherboard here. I'm not sure if you can see this. I'm gonna try and lift it up so you can see this. There's actually almost like a, like a circuit board there. And I guess that's where all of the technology is housed. And that's because on the front of that circuit board, let's try and put this like this, on the front of the circuit board are all of the buttons. You have a bagel button, a defrost button, um, you know, there's a whole bunch of buttons there. And uh, that's where it uh, actually creates the timer. There's also on this toaster, these LED screens right here, or the, I'm not sure if they're LED screens, but these little uh, digital screens. And um, those require quite a bit of technology to display with a toaster, okay? If you take a look right over here, and I'm going to throw away this toaster after this. I'm going to discard of it um, appropriately. Um, that's why I don't care if I uh, ruin it at this point. But if you take a look over here, that circuit board actually connects with the actual toaster unit. And basically, um, the circuit board connects with the toaster unit, and the circuit board is telling the toaster what to do, and then the toaster actually does it over here. There's also some springs right over here. Like I said, I'm not sure how well you can see this. There are some springs over here. So that obviously, when, and when you pull down on where the lever would be, um, there's a spring and it actually has the claws inside of the grill and they close in. I'm sure you're familiar with using a toaster. When you push it down, it closes in the bread. There's obviously breadcrumbs everywhere. I actually cleaned this toaster before making this video, but um, it's really hard to get out all of the breadcrumbs in a toaster. You, you know, it takes a lot of time and I, I was going to throw it out, so I'm not really dedicating that time to it. And there's some additional circuit boards over here. Um, and it looks like there is a spot over here that holds it down. So as you can see, this piece right here, if hopefully you can see this, this piece right here is that this piece will connect with that and that's what holds it down and releases it. So it holds it down and when the timer goes off and it lets the toaster know that the toast will be done, it then releases it, okay? Now obviously this goes without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyways, if you're ever taking anything apart, make sure it's unplugged. This toaster has been unplugged for a very long time, so I'm not worried at all about it, but make sure it's unplugged. Um, overall, it's pretty cool seeing the inner workings of it and on the back there's just no, nothing major going on on the back here. Looks like maybe some sort of uh, electrical transformer unit over here, I can't really tell, but pretty cool. I just, you know what, I was gonna throw it out. I figured might as well take it apart for the channel and show you guys what it's all about. And that's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.